sono giocatori belli e bravi da vedere e ci sono giocatori che ti emozionano. Signore e signori, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Yuzzolino! Sono eh, Mike Uzzolino. My grandparents was uh, born in San Gregorio Magno. When I was two years old, I used to take the wire hanger and I'd make the, uh, the basket and I would hang it on the door and have the little basket and I'd put it in the basket. I fell in love with the game. I played at St. Francis. We're the only team in the whole school history to make the NCAA tournament. I had a coach that he gave you a lot of freedom and I think that helped me become a better basketball player because I like to play fast, to shoot from long three-point range and uh, as long as I was making them, he was happy. It's just a great honor to have your name called in the NBA draft. But probably 10 minutes after my name was called, I was thinking about what do I need to do to make the team. The first two weeks of camp, I remember calling home, saying that I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. My parents, my father, uh, you know, just kept encouraging me, saying, hey, just keep doing what you're doing, working hard. If you're meant to be in the NBA, you're going to be there. In the first, I think, 17, I only played maybe one. I was working harder than everybody else. I was the first guy in the gym, the last guy to leave. I did all the extra things, so when my time came, I was ready. Il primo saffettista, Roberto Valavecchia, David Londolo, è il suo turno. E il viaggio continua per passare nelle mani di Giampiero Savio. Adesso abbiamo bisogno della forza dei big men, a cominciare da... You know, I got a call from a, my agent, at the time I think Ryan Lothrich was injured, and they signed me for a one-month contract to come over. I remember arriving, I think, on a, uh, a Thursday, and had to play Sunday, and you know, it was difficult, did not play well that first match. I remember we came out, and they were playing the music, We Are The Champions. So they thought they won the championship before it happened. The atmosphere was incredible, it was crazy. And I remember telling everybody, hey, not, not, not today. And I remember some big shots by Della Vecchia, two big, big T Libri with Boney. You know, we were very fortunate to have a great coach in Andrea Mazzone at the time. You know, it was a really honor to play for him. He stays a friend of mine for a long time. fatto da una persona che Mike dovrebbe conoscere bene, Michael Giovanni Uzzolino. I've always tried to teach my kids you have to be a good person first. And I don't care if you're the best basketball player in the world, the worst basketball player, or whatever you do, you better treat people the right way because that's what makes the world go around, your relationships with people. After the games, I say to him, do you want me to be the coach today or you want me to be dad? because there's two different things. But I love watching him play. It gives me such joy to know that he likes to play. Whatever you do, whether it's basketball, whether it's calcio, whatever, have a passion, have a love for what you do. I'll just be there to help you along the way. In the end, I, I don't know if I was a good player or not a good player. When I went out on the court, I loved playing for these people. It's really a, a, just a great community of people. I made it like a second home. To me, that's, that's more important than any basket I ever made. They were children when I was playing. Now that you know, they're grown men and they have families of their own, they're saying, hey, I played basketball because of you. That goes further than just making baskets and winning basketball games.